Let's try and painting using Forge UI. To do so, I used the SDXL Juggernaut model and wrote a prompt for an empty room. Click this pink palette icon below the generated image. And your newly generated AI image will be taken to the in paint section. This video will cover a basic but powerful method to in paint a selected area of an image. Below you will see multiple options. Select this only masked button to in paint a selected area. I will match the sampling method and schedule type from the text to image generator. You have to try different sampling methods if the source of image is unknown. Next, I will adjust the brush size for selection. I will try adding hanging lamp or I should say a chandelier in this empty room. Also a standing lamp in the corner of the room will be nice. It has to be done one by one. So, I will write a prompt for chandelier. Before generating, I will make sure if the image size mentioned matches the original image. I will increase the denoising strength to 0.95. So the AI can make changes as much as it can. I should have specified some color, like white or silver. I added a word, metallic, and increased the weight to 1.5. And clicked generate. I should better specify the color as silver. This is acceptable. I think the area I selected for in paint is small. I will try to increase and generate the image again. This is better. There are some unfinished spots, like the corner area of the ceiling. Adding details to the edges and corners can be done by processing the image again. I will accept this image and take it in for in painting. This time, we have an object, the hanging lamp selected. Scroll down and just verify the size, if it is similar to the image we are working with. Then decrease the denoising strength a bit. I will keep it to 0.75. Not much noticeable. But there is some improvement. The point here is. I will accept the new image generated with small improvements. Then I will restrict the changes of the object in the selected area by decreasing the denoising strength. Processing the improved image in the same area will increase the details in every next image. I repeated these steps multiple times and this works for me in many of the use cases. After some improvement, you may find such an outline on the selected area. An outline which is not blended with the surrounding. Reset the selected area, adjust the brush size and select the outline. In the below options, I will change the denoising and keep it around 50 or 45 and try generating the image. The outline is gone. What do you think? The chandelier looks good to me. Let me add a standing lamp. I can try adding in both the corners. It may give bad result because we selected two different areas. I will replace the chandelier with a floor lamp in the prompt. As I am trying to create something, we'll keep the denoising high. And the results are bad. I removed one selection and remembered to specify the lamp's color as white. The area selected is small. Or the AI is not able to generate a lamp with a size suitable in the area. I will increase the area and try again. The lamp is bigger in size, 
but let's try to improve the new object. You can try few more times to find the best. And then start improving by decreasing denoising strength. From 95 to 75 works for me. As we did previously, take the new generated image into InPaint. Decrease denoising by 15 to 20% and run the InPaint process. The outline of the selected area can be fixed as we did for the hanging lamp. Decrease the denoising, making it point 20. The outline area has been fixed, but it left a thin line. It should be fixed if I select the line properly. Denoising below point 25 has effect next to nothing on object. Keep it at least around 35 or 40. It looks good to me. What are your thoughts? Then I tried adding a painting, but the frame looks crooked. It is because I have not selected the area properly. By repeating the similar denoising process, this can be improved further. I had a hard time selecting the area because I am left-handed. So I am bad at controlling the mouse with the right. I could have used the mouse in my left hand. But it becomes awkward when the button goes the other sides. Next I tried adding a white sofa. This deformity in the center can be fixed. Right now, I will try again to see what else can I get. This deformity in the center is caused by the shiny gray area. We can help AI if we include this in the selection. These images are single image generation, which can be fixed after decreasing the denoising value. The other way you can fix the deform objects is by using the image to image option. Upload the image and adjust the denoising strength. I will start from as low as 25 and go higher. It is kind of okay. The character in the painting became bad. And I took time to figure out the problem, which was the incorrect image size. After correcting the image size, I tried generating again. This looks great. It went from this room to this in minutes. Is this good? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. What else would you like to see in Forge UI?